Victoria's police chief and mayor are speaking up over a series of recent knife attacks, some of them deadly. While the numbers are similar to previous years, it has some officials worried. Our Zara Premji joins us now with more. Zara, what are police and, and the mayor saying about the string of violence? Well, the simple answer is police are concerned. They're calling this string of stabbings and violent incidents with weapons a growing trend officers are seeing on the streets. In the first four months of the year, Victoria Police says there have been 20 assaults with a knife. Similar numbers to the last four years. But Police Chief Delmonic says there is a rise in knives and edge weapons being carried by people for protection. When you see the frequency of the stabbings and the violence playing out in our communities, uh, I can't tell you really with any confidence to say, well, it's okay, you know, we're safe and it's going to be okay. The numbers don't really, you know, are kind of aligned to what it has been for the last four years. Um, it's concerning. And, and I think that we, we're going to be getting into this is what's at the root cause of it? What are we doing? Zora, many of these attacks are taking place in downtown Victoria. How have stores and, and businesses been handling this? Well, Dan, the Downtown Victoria Business Association says it wants to spend more time marketing its events downtown. Instead, most of its energy has been put into dealing with violence. I think it's important for us also to remember that we create, to a certain extent, a big piece of the safety of the downtown. And I always want to urge uh, our residents to make sure that they pay attention to the part they play in the sense that we really do need to continue to support our downtown businesses and all of our services. Now, Dan, a panel discussing how to make communities safer was held earlier today in Victoria. Housing officials, mental health advocates and police got together and discussed ways to make people feel safer in their city and their homes. Dan. Zara Premji, thanks very much.